started with one person saying the right things at the right time on the right platform. I believe I have personally come across the right person to do this and start this revolution. Not one female in my entire life has inspired me as much as this one female has. Not one individual has given me hope for a better future more than this female has, Ava Brighton. I will be analyzing and going over her brand new video, which yet again is on a god tier level of, of truth, facts, reality, exposure to even more things that you could never even believe existed until they were spoken. I believe Ava Brighton is a revolutionist, someone who will start a new breed of individuals, particularly females, who will follow her and be like her. And I can only hope this will be a truth, a fact, or in reality for the future, should we wish to have a good and better future. Because on the path we're on now, we are only guaranteed to get worse. However, should females start behaving like, thinking like, being like Ava Brighton, we are guaranteed a better, far superior future than what we are heading down now. So with that said, let's get on with the intro to this video and start analyzing. Alrighty. Whew. Welcome to another video in the analyzation and response and reaction to Ava Brighton. Alright, Ava Brighton has strike, has stricken again, in which I shall call full force, unrelent, exposing of current day gynocentric, feministic, sexist di discrimination against males, sexism against males, manipulation of laws, regulations, and so on, that run rampant in today's world. Not just here in the United States of America, come to find out. It's actually worse in other places, as you shall so very, very quickly find out. In fact, Ava blows the lid off the idea entirely and brings to the worldwide spectrum, along with showing literal video evidence as well to back this up. Let me tell you what, her video is a must fucking see, and I 100% implore you to watch it, whether it's through her channel, Uninterrupt, uninter uninterrupted, fucking four in the morning. <laughs> English, okay. Either watch it through her video uninterrupted without me, you know, pausing and going, pausing and going, or you can just watch it through me. But if you want, I, which I would highly recommend, is just watch it through her channel because it's right all up in there. You get all the information all at once type deals. But anyways, going on. Um, it is an absolute musty video. So with that said, let's go on to her video, analyze, react, and respond accordingly, bit by bit, piece by piece. Again, just like in any other of my videos, going eh, going over her videos, this will be a long one, again, um, but as the case was last time, it's in a good way that this shall be a long one. So with that said, let's do it. Now I have your villa, your child, your money. And all it took was me telling the police that you said something about my crossword puzzle. If you think this girl is insane and I'm not buying it, I invite you to move to Spain and try it yourself. I assure you, you won't be buying anything for a long, long time. Fuck. With an intro like that, you already know this is going to be a good one. One hell of a good one at that. <laughs> That's gotta fuck your feelings, here's some facts, truth, and reality instead type of vibe to it. So with that, let's move on. In my first video, if it's still up, I summarized some of the troubling issues about the new generation of women and how recent developments in Western society might be the build-up of an all-female dominated and governed Kakatopia, which puts men in an imminent risk of harm. Alright, as she mentions in her first video, she uh, tells us about how current-day feminists are fucked up, psychotic, 
self-centered, narcissistic, out of touch with reality, mentally fucked up, in the head, retards who are taking over the world by screaming like the harpies that they are and bitching and moaning and wanting everything unrealistically given to them, all the while they do nothing to actually earn it. And then these moronic feminists get it, they don't know what to do with it, and then they desperately find other insignificant things to try to exploit, manipulate, and change that has to do with males, of course, not females, just males, from sitting to, well, doing anything, really. It's 100% trying to c take control of every single thing, oppress men, and use the guise and facade of equality. Or they genuinely think that what they are fighting for is equality, uh, and, and they're just misguided, they're delusional. And she is spot on with her presentation in that video if you haven't already seen it. I highly advise you do so. Also, for those that might be, shall we say, not very well versed with an above average vocabulary, the word cacotopia is, is as such. And yes, it most certainly would be an all-female cacotopia. When she states that it would put males in imminent risk of harm, absolutely spot on with that. It'd be like back in the days of the Salem witch trials, but instead of witches, it would be males that are being sought after, persecuted, and death and harm in the whole ten yards. Because many people wondered why I seem to be well versed in the wives of these women and its impact on society, I decided to tell you which personal experiences instigated me to making these videos. But no matter how many videos I will make, we can't make this speeding train make a short curve. It's way past the point of no return. And without wanting to sound apocalyptic, this surely is the end of Western society as we know it, and the beginning of an era of which it is very hard to predict its development. What I oppose to is a ma- She has brought up a very frequented wonder here, as many people have indeed wondered why she is on Team Male, Team Guy, Team Dude, Team Us. <laughs> and uh, why she is so well-versed and understanding and even frustrated of the, at the wiles of current-day females to the point of making these incredibly, incredible expose videos and such a self-gendered observation in, from such a place of objectivity can be made and she's going to tell us of her own personal experiences that led to her making such videos and with how things are. They must have been one hell of an experience to murder feminism and expose gynocentrism to the extent that she has. And of course the gynocentrism of today's world in the way that she does as well. So this should be very interesting to hear, watch, uh, what exactly instigated her to making said videos. Also, the analogy on not being able to make a speeding train make a short uh, curve is so spot on, like the perfect analogy. Because that train, called the United States of America, uh, and the rest of the world for that matter, is on a speeding crash course to being a train wreck. So when she says how it's past the point of no return, I can only agree and unfortunately just accept it as is, as it is in fact, fact, truth, and reality. We are fucked. And I know we are fucked. Again, she mentions how this is the end of Western society as we know it, and that is exactly the train wreck with which I am speaking of, and the speeding train that is heading towards, say, the cliff. And so again, she's spot on but she objectively, um, meaning without bias or any sort of influence of outside forces or what have you, tells the truth in saying we cannot predict the development. So there is a possibility for hope. Anyways, moving on.
patriarchy ruled by a generation of disturbed, spoiled and naive women who seized the power by biting the hand that fed them. No one... Yep, that sums that up. Ava and I are both on the same page here, without a question of a doubt. We're not just sitting here being female haters and shitting on every single female ever. We're just exposing, shitting on, and talking about the aforementioned disturbed, spoiled, and naive females. Now, this is of course the nice way to put it. <laughs> so, what Ava and I are particularly dicking on, in my own words now, are t in talking about, fighting against, and overall picking on, are these fucked in the head, self-centered, narcissistic, self-righteous, arrogantly ignorant females. Now that is what Ava and I are opposed to. And Ava and I are also opposed in actively fighting against the attempted matriarchy of today's world. A hostile takeover of the entire world by females with their out of control, with out of touch with reality superiority complex. Boy did she nail it when she was saying how females got this power by biting the hand that fucking fed them. It happened suddenly, unexpectedly and violently. It's almost the definition of a coup and that was what Me Too was. A coup d'etat. Overthrowing the entire system overnight. In the name of equality. But if you analyze it, this could only be possible in an equalized society. In a female oppressing society, men would have kicked our empowered asses right back into the kitchen. Heaven knows why. Even in the kitchen, men seem superior to women. Which is strange as history suggests that women had plenty of time to practice. But it is me too. Me too. The phrasing of this slogan perfectly accentuates its agenda. I even propose that the entire Me Too movement could only occur in a times where men were already positively discriminating women. Now, Ava brings up the Me Too movement that no one saw coming. Bringing up how it came out of nowhere. And again, for those who aren't well versed in having a vast vocabulary, what coop means is... And so, as you can tell, yes, it's very similar to what a coop is in regard to what Me Too was. In the so-called name of equality, moreover, she's correct in saying this only could ever have happened in an equalized society. Oh, when she called them out and sang the reality, facts, and truth of today's world about how we, um, if we indeed <laughs> lived in a world where it was a female impressing, oppressing society, then yeah, Ava's right. The females would have been kicked right back into the fucking kitchen, as it were. Ava's right. The females would have been kicked right back in the kitchen, as it were. Now, that is a power statement made by Ava right there with impact BAM 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 Sh Ava is showing no fucking mercy and I fucking love it then brings up the irony of how males are the superior uh, chefs cooks in the kitchen ha! as such after all these years of practice Males turn out to be better in the end anyways. Oh, cruel irony. What cruel, cruel irony. Then goes on further to say how it is with the statement of how males were positively discriminating females as she shows the photo of the emasculated male holding up the sign on how so-called real men are feminists. What a feckless, spineless, beta bitch boy he is. He no longer has the right to be considered male. As... No, or actually, in fact, nor should he be giving anyone advice on what a real man is.
Like, he snipped his balls off immediately uh, to hold that sign up. Let's just put it this way. Those who do the whole real man thing are those who are out of touch with reality in general, whether you're female or male. No male will define a, a true masculine male, whatever you want to call it. Someone who is secure in their identity, secure in their masculinity, so on and so forth, will never tell others what a real man is um, when it comes from a male-to-male -male perspective. And females who are telling males how to be males, I don't need to elaborate on that one. So we'll just, we'll just leave it at that. Moving on. Because remember, it was in the early 90s when the positive discrimination of women really took hold. That's at least a quarter of a century of women being privileged, promoted and pampered in our society. If I apply for a job and you, as a man, apply for the same job, you know it will be me getting the job. Underqualified as I may be, overqualified as the men may be, it doesn't matter. The job is mine and most men know why. I'm a woman. You may call this a pussy pass, which is slang for using one's female gender as a handicap to get benefits. To on yep. Nailed it yet again, as she always does. In the early 90s, as she mentions, is when this really took hold. For sure, um, as she accurately makes the statement of how females have been privileged for the past quarter of a fucking century, promoted and pampered to the point where they have taken it for granted, clearly, and now look at their out of touch with reality ways. We've spoiled them to the point of which they have gone and become this delusional and out of touch with reality. Awesome. Wow, did she really shine the light on what today's world is when it comes to getting a job and how being female is for sure advantageous to the max to be a female when it comes to getting a job versus versing a male in particular. In short summary, the pussy pass, as it was stated, is the winning card. Moving on question raised as to how I know the things that I know, I'll cover some topics which gravely affected many people I care about and which I have witnessed personally. I will address these in the first person singular as these are all true events which occurred in Spain and the Netherlands, though can be viewed as perfect models for any Western society and as a warning how this madness of female tailored and supporting loss tomorrow can be policy in your own country. My first now to what motivated her and the topics that cover people she cared about and what she personally went through and witnessed. As she stated in Spain and the Netherlands as a perspective to Western society in the United States of America, with which I can personally attest to how accurate she is in saying that, as we're getting to that point. Sure, not as bad as Spain and the Netherlands as you're going to find out, but we're on the fast track there. There's no doubt about that. So let's get to seeing what these were. The women supporting and men destroying draconian domestic violence laws in Spain. Imagine you have a home in Spain. You worked your fingers to the bone for 30 years and now you're the proud owner of a Spanish villa with a nice infinity pool and a lustrous garden. And I come home from this job I got because I'm a woman and I think, I really like your villa. Would be fun to own it. All I have to do is go to the police, report you, and your villa is mine. This sounds insane, but this has been policy in Spain since 2006, when the old left president Zapatero introduced his so-called Ley de Generos, the law against domestic violence. Only women can report men. Men cannot report women. So what I do is this, I go out, find me a guy with a nice house, let him ask me to move in, and then I report him for domestic violence. Now most of you will go, yeah, this is old news. But what you probably don't know is that I can go to the police and say that you just called me a bitch. 
that's domestic violence or that you criticized me for doing a crossword puzzle. Let me repeat that. I can get your ass in jail by going to the police and say that you joked about me doing a crossword puzzle. Or my shoes. That's domestic violence right there. Jose Luis Zapatero and his government drew up a new law. Gender violence law. So immediately after my report, the police by law will have to detain you and after a night in a Franco-era stone prison, you will get the surprise of a lifetime. A quick trial. Do you want to make a statement against him? An all-female team and female judge awaits you. You'll be strongly advised to plead guilty. And you'll think, fine, I'll confess, it was just a joke about a crossword puzzle. You can, if you like, accept the facts of the case. And then, it's done. Your life as you knew it is over. Your villa and everything in it now is mine. They just changed the deed, put it on my name and you will be homeless. But it doesn't end there. We just started our equality game. La ley de violencia de género solamente protege a las mujeres. I made sure that I picked a guy with a nice income because now I will get a hefty monthly cut. If you were so smart to get a child with me, you can double the amount. Obviously, I will keep our child to make the rest of your life miserable. You'll get a restraining order by default. And with this restraining order, I can just claim that you came within the 200 meter limit and I can have you arrested again. It was actually me trespassing, but who cares? I'm the woman, my word counts. Now it's serious jail time you're looking at. And with you behind bars, I now get sole custody of the child. That's the Spanish law of domestic violence in 2006 for you. Now I have your villa, your child, your money, and all it took was me telling the police that you said something about my crossword puzzle. If you think this girl is insane and I'm not buying it, I invite you to move to Spain and try it yourself. I assure you, you won't be buying anything for a long, long time. The Spanish courts accept false accusations, if presented by women. The matriarchal, overtly sexist laws of Western countries such as Sweden and the UK are often cited as remarkably biased against men. However, little is said about Spain, whose laws are so draconian that Spain must be considered at least equal to these other jurisdictions. Do you want to make a statement against him? Do you want to continue with the case? Every day, 400 women in Spain go to the court and present 400 accusations against men. A woman only has to press the button and call the police. The police do not ask any questions or undertake any investigation. A woman shall not present any proof or evidence. Only her word is sufficient. The man goes directly to prison. Before I started making videos, I warned men about this law on a Spanish expert Facebook page. And to my surprise, people refused to believe it, which says a lot about the human psyche and its perception. If the presented fact is too absurd to ingest, people will respond with denial. Can you explain to us what happened yesterday at your home? But a substantial number of cases have been based on trivial complaints such as not letting the female partner watch a certain TV program or not letting them finish a crossword, simply raising their voice or even criticizing their partner's clothes. Are you afraid of your husband? Would you like protective measures to be implemented to prevent him from coming close to you? There have been cases where men have been convicted for flatulence during a discussion. Yes, convicted for farting. You're accused of making threats within the household. You can, if you like, accept the facts of the case. If it had been, so to speak, normal threats, the sentence would probably be a fine. But because this is a case of violence against a woman, the minimum sentence is a jail term. But remember, this is only violence if the man does it and not if the woman does it. It wasn't until a police officer from the Spanish Guardia Civil replied to my post and confirmed that this was in fact real. As most of the Facebook pages, the admins are women, the threat was deleted within the hour. Wow, okay. Wow. What the fuck? 
did I just watch, or rather, and or hear. That is some Grady bullshit. Okay, alright, alright. This is a lot to cover. <laughs> wow. Alright, this is very important in regard to Ava's very first experience with which she's covering. With which she shares the blatant gender bias, sexist, discriminatory against male laws, regulations, and draconian ways about going after said males. <sighs> which, if you don't know what draconian means, it means... Spain has fucking lost it. Lost their marbles. Lost their fucking balls. Their gut. Their intestinal fortitude. And all masculinity is taken over by female extremists and their beta bitch males. The extreme gender bias laws and favoritism towards females is ungodly, unbelievable, unacceptable. The United States of America is on the fast track to this shit. Mind you, you work your male ass off for years and all it just to have it fucking all taken away by some bitch that is only using you and got with you to take advantage of some bullshit law and female centric law system, court system, etc. How fucked up is that? And step by step, Ava describes just how easy it is for a female to essentially live for free off of you as a male. And the AKA the male that she fucked over. How to step by step in Spain a female can destroy a male and take every fucking thing of his and make it her own without fucking earning it. Mind you, this has been literal policy as she has stated since fucking 2006. 13 fucking years of this shit. Zapatoro is a beta bitch cuck, a spineless coward, feckless loser of life. The so-called law against this domestic violence is actually what, in, in, if translated, law of female dominance and control with which they abuse daily. Only, yes, only females can report males in saying that males cannot report females. Now this is the definition of one-sided. This is gender biased. This is sexist. This is the ultimate showing of it. Absolute garbage. Utterly egregious. Oh, how, has, oh, how Spain has fallen. It's now just a cuck state, country full of losers and nobodies, cucks and feminists. Terrible. Spain should be ashamed of itself. Nobody be a Spain. No one should want to ever become a Spain. Especially if you are a male, unless you're a cuck loser that is some beta bitch, beta male bitch boy, or something like that, then I guess you would want other countries to be like Spain. Anyway. Men literally cannot report women. That is fucking atrocious. Oh, and it gets worse, as you already know. What I didn't even know up until that video was... Uh, for fuck's sakes, that is in Spain, all a female has to do is go to the police and say a male called her a bitch. And that would be considered, or otherwise fall under, Spain's definition of domestic violence. Hell, criticizing a female for doing a crossword puzzle is even considered under Spain's retarded definition of what domestic violence is. And wouldn't you know it, an all-female team and female judge will await you. Clearly, this is going to be a fair trial. Ugh. Then, after you're coerced to admit guilt, you're effectively thrown your life away and everything you've ever learned, earned in life, along with it. Or as Ava stated, your life is over. 
and now that female that took advantage and manipulated the system now has every single thing of yours if you live in Spain. Oh, and when she stated the whole equality game comment, I was like, yup, that's exactly what it is. A game. Ava literally shows a clip of this cuck loser of Spain literally tells us the sexist, gender bias to the gender violence law and how it only protects females. Then goes on to show how even after all that, losing all of everything materially or otherwise, how if in Spain a female can further yeah, that's right. Further abuse the system and you by getting half your money monthly, take your child, then abuse the restraining order that is automatically placed on you by default, then goes on to show just how egregious it is because all you have to do or B, rather, is female and say words, and that's all that matters, regardless of proof or evidence of trespassing that there otherwise would be. It's the female's word that counts only. Then, at that point, she will literally have everything, the child, the money, the villa, etc. And as she stated it, all it took is stating that you said something about my crossword puzzle. Stunning. Absolutely fucking shocking. Had my jaw drop. Then the video that she presents covering it and backing up what she has just stated including the courts accepting false fucking accusations and so on. Speak for them fucking selves, man. Dear Lord, Spain is dead and gone. For once in my life, and I never thought I'd say this, I can say there's a place worse than Traverse City, Michigan. I never thought I'd speak that sentence, but facts are facts, and I change my mind, not by opinion, but by facts and evidence. And there it is right there. Therefore, Spain is worse than Traverse City, Michigan, folks. I finally have said it. Someone, some place, has finally beat Traverse City, Michigan in being the most atrocious place ever. Socially and otherwise. Literally, going over the stats of an average of 400. Yes, 400 females go to court to present 400, yes, 400 accusations against males. The police have no questions or investigations. Oh my God. Only her word is sufficient? Spain is officially the country in which females have taken over and are ruining everything there, if not already ruined everything within the 13 years that this has been going on. And have murdered males' rights and killed all masculinity there. Spain is infected with a disease that is called feminism and cancer that is the female takeover syndrome. With all this disease and syndrome, and will this disease and syndrome infect the USA as well? And all those on the way to the USA in between? Well, it would appear so with today's Me Too movement and how the world is so hyper gynocentric. Her testimony in regard to the, the Spanish expat Facebook page is astonishing as well. That they wouldn't be believing her, but good thing it was validated and proven by the individual that actually works for that corrupt system. How corrupt, you may ask? Well, as you heard, males have been convicted for fucking farting. That's right. Fucking farting. That is how corrupt. Be warned, United States of America. This is where we are heading with the gynocentrism, feministic crap and takeover of today's media, schooling, and law system. My second experience. The women supporting and men destroying corrupt social service systems and laws in the Netherlands. 
I learned men have no rights whatsoever when it comes to family law. I come from the Netherlands, once known for its tolerance, freedom, Amsterdam, soft drugs and the red light district. Don't bother visiting Amsterdam anymore. The old left socialists have peeled caps and split wigs with gusto. Even the I Amsterdam sign had to be removed as it was too individualistic for the Marxist socialistic female lead party and its female mayor. This is the most important spot of Amsterdam. This is the landmark of the Amsterdam. Of will we a solidair, diverse, tolerant samenleving zijn? I myself come from a small village in the province. Never was I aware of this new zeitgeist until I got a phone call from a 13-year-old girl who was physically and mentally abused by her mother. That mother was the ex-partner of a friend of mine. She sent recordings of her bruises and the assault, so what did I do? I called social services. How was I to know that this was possibly the worst female indoctrinated, old left, female managed, corrupt bureau of the country? I was given the opportunity to make an anonymous phone call. So the first thing that those women from social services did was give my full name and address to the mother. When I told them that I had proof that the little girl sent me, they said to me, and I quote, we don't care for proof. Proof is something for the police. We go by feelings. We listen to our feelings. It is absolutely insane. And I have tasted the women's vengeance myself. That's how I know that these women will never stop and will not hesitate to take you out by any means necessary. Munchausen by proxy of PCF. Bij deze zeldzame psychische aandoening maken ouders hun kinderen expres ziek of ze bedenken een ziektebeeld. Maar de kritiek op het aantal meldingen neemt toe. De belangenvereniging spreekt van een meldingsgekte en ouders voelen zich rechteloos. Oh god. Going past the stupidity of the Netherlands for removing the I Amsterdam um, due to the oversensitivity and um, idiocy of their female leader and going to the absolute terror nightmare scenario of Eris, Ava's second experience that Ava personally had to deal with and go through what I'm gonna call as nightmare fuel societally speaking I mean hell she is a female mind you and she has felt this wrath imagine if she was a he oh man it would have been much worse. She even points out how indoctrinated and corrupt by females and feminism social services are to actually give Ava's full first, middle, last name, plus, yeah that's right, plus, Ava's address to the fucking mother, even though it was supposed to be anonymous. Uh, wow. Like, what the fuck? Then, they told Ava, they don't care for proof? Wait, what? What? They don't care for proof? Then, made the atrocious statement of only going by feelings? Feelings? What the fuck is wrong with these people? What in the out of touch with reality fuck is that? Going by feelings over facts? Feelings over truth? Feelings over evidence? Feelings being more important than anything else? Oh my god, I'm gonna blow a fucking gasket here. Mmm. They listen to their fucking feelings.
absolutely right, Ava. It's absolutely insane. Absolutely fucking lutely insane. Before I go on a fucking diatribe tangent here, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Moving on. My third experience. The evil and macabre ways of social services Holland to incriminate the father with child abduction and attempted murder in the second degree using the all-female disorder called Munchauser by proxy. Now imagine our child ran away from me to you, the father, because I was physically or mentally abusing him or her. And you, as a man, call social services with the proof of abuse in your hands. They have to initiate an investigation by law. But I can change the reports and just blame the man. As a woman, having sole custody over our child, I can issue an all-point bulletin and put Interpol on your ass since it is now child abduction because our child is with you but you do not have custody, even though you're the father. That's one of the worst crimes. That's 9 to 11 years in prison for the man. Then I can call social services and just tell them that my child is sick. Social services will be more than happy to use the all-female disorder called Munchauser by proxy syndrome on the man, claiming he is making his child sick in order to get attention. It doesn't even sound like a male disorder. Females tend to be the poisoners. But social services Holland are overly zealous to get the child and take it away. I won't go into as to why that may be. Suffice to say, you will now get arrested for Munchauser by proxy, which boils down to attempted murder in the second degree. In de vele dossiers zit ook het verhaal van Tibbe. Hij werd te vroeg geboren, met ernstige complicaties. Het ziekenhuis wil uitsluiten dat de ouders het kind iets aandoen en vraagt veilig thuis om een inschatting te maken. En het ziekenhuis zegt dus, PCF moet worden uitgesloten. En een uur later zegt veilig thuis, acute dreiging, doding, letsel en vrijheid benemen. Zijn ouders mogen hem niet meer verzorgen, maar Tibbes gezondheid blijft schrikbarend achteruit gaan. Het ziekenhuis komt tot de conclusie dat het onwaarschijnlijk is dat de ouders hun kind zelf ziek gemaakt hebben. Ondanks het feit dat die melding wordt teruggetrokken, gaat veilig thuis door met het gegeven dat het er zou zijn. Er is ook geen weg terug. Dan wil veilig thuis niet terug, dan wil de kinderbeschermen niet terug, dan wil de rechter zelfs niet terug. You as a male and a loving father will be charged with attempted murder of your beloved child. That's 11 to 20 years in prison right there. The child abusing mother had the power to change social services official reports, successfully incriminating the father who in the end was deemed the perpetrator. Too many men remained powerless and simply were stripped from all they loved and what was dear to them. This is how I learned how the Western world is swiftly changing into a society in which men are stripped from their human rights and how a small but determined group of women are making it happen. Veilig thuis wil een procedure winnen en het gaat al lang niet meer om het kind. Een veilig thuisarts hoopt dat er iets met tippen gebeurt, zodat de bewijslast tegen de ouders rondkomt. Zou wel vaak zijn als het niet Dat zijn voor een discussie. <laughs> wow, all right, this is disturbing, but let's go over it. Ava goes over her third experience in regard to Holland. This is something else, I'll tell you what. What this tells us in Holland is that just because it's law doesn't mean it's right. She exposes just how criminalistically corrupt social services is towards males, even at the expense or and the health of the and well-being of said child as they're clearly nothing but pawns to them oh and don't matter either obviously but for doing the right thing as any sane person and just person would do a male can get nine to eleven years in prison for doing the right thing or at least trying to do the right thing in Holland 
by trying to rightfully call social services on an abusive fucking female parental individual. That's downright scary and fucked up in the same situation. It's just as fucked up as it is scary for the male, that is. And the child. Oh my god, the child. The video she presents for us speaks for itself. Anyway, she literally is telling us that we as males can and will be charged with attempted murder, which is 11 to 20 years in prison, for trying to save our beloved child and do the right thing, calling the supposedly right authority on the matter. Thus, by doing so, the child abusing mother can reverse the report and make it about how the male is doing it. And they can and they, the corrupt court system and social services, will believe her and will go along with her. That is so fucked up. I cannot even begin to tell you how fucked up that is. But she made the point very clear and gave the fair warning to the rest of the world and that these nowadays feminists and their gynocentric, female-centric folk are slowly but surely turning the United States of America, the you good old USA, and other places into a place that is just like Holland, that is just like the Netherlands, that is just like Spain. Also, let that be my warning as well to the United States, good old glory, good old USA, America, that we're heading down that same fucking path. I'm giving the same fucking warning to you guys that are watching this. Same fucking warning in my own right. Well, with that warning out of the way, continuing on. This was the start of my personal voyage of discovery through this new world governed by females. I have seen the suffering up close. And while investigating and studying this bizarre phenomenon, which was completely new to me, I gradually found out that this is all real. The immense suffering is absolutely unbearable and this is happening to men all over the world. So I'm most certainly not afraid to speak my mind and go public to share all I have learned with as many people as possible. If you analyze it, this is all manipulative behavior. I am with Ava on her voyage and observe just as she has in regard to this scary fucked up world being governed by females and how they literally take and destroy everything and don't add anything to it. All they do is, all females do of this category um, is corrupt it and kill it and then complain about, complain later that it's dead and or gone and or find something else to corrupt and kill until there is nothing left. Ava herself has seen such suffering up close. It's one thing to speak on something that you haven't experienced in your life or truly seen up close. But Ava here, you know, good old Ava, she has seen the suffering up close. She has gone through the experiences. She knows exactly what the fuck she's talking about. She is at risk of getting so much hate and backlash from females for exposing them and their gender biased, female centric, female favoritism ways and all the corruption and the fucked up shit that goes along with it. And I commend Ava and her bravery for doing this. I would just like to take this opportunity to thank Ava for sharing all this information with us and as many people as possible I give her from me to Ava a heartfelt thank you from me to you personally not only due to how it takes fucking moxie moxie bravery and great character but your willingness to go on a public flat platform such as YouTube and expose them in the way that you are the risk is worth the reward to you and you know what I have nothing but the utmost respect for you due to this so again from me to you thank you where key positions have been taken over by this group of overly zealous feminists 
instilling so much fear they created this positive discrimination which enables them to be in those key positions changing the system and recruiting the new generation of women brainwashing and spoiling these young girls into thinking that literally all men are rapists inferior beings analyzing it further you can clearly see the female spirit is steering the pot if absurd idiocracies such as farting can get men incarcerated in Spain, sitting with your legs spread can get you arrested in the US, this can only sprout from a woman's mind. Men simply don't invent such nonsense and mind the new stupidities they are bound to come up with. Ava then brings up an important bit of information on how <laughs> um, manipulative current day females are and the tactics of indoctrination and propaganda that are used such as the faulty hasty generalization fallacy which is a logical fallacy by the way that puts a particular group of individuals whether it be uh, religion race gender etc or as in this case by gender into one specific thing or thought or what have you or as in this case all being yup that's right you heard Ava and I right they are indoctrinating today's females into thinking that if an individual has a penis, is a male, he is thus, without a question of a doubt, instantly a rapist. Because he's male. Because he's a he. A male. Of the male gender. No other reason than that. But moving on. How Ava stated that men simply don't invent such nonsense. Nonsense is spot on. We never would make such egregious, nonsensical things like that as laws and regulation and corruption. Women will take crimes like men spreading to a new level. Will we get men whistling, men singing, men shopping, men existing, or men being as the next crimes punishable with four years in prison? Women are currently and globally destroying males as if it's a nasty divorce. And maybe this is just exactly what it is. A divorce from all men. And the man was handed the divorce papers via the Me Too movement. When I see men going their own way, I see the traditional picture of a man leaving the house that he built while the woman has taken over his entire life. But will it come to an actual war between men and women? As soon as women find themselves scratching their eyes out in the mess that they made, they will try to reconcile with men, whom by that time will all have gone their own way. I am just going to say that the ending was spot on, and not much else really needs to be said by the time the females have done fucked up everything, because you know they will. Um, and this, when I say everyone, I mean everything and everyone animals included it'll be far too late and females will have done the world in now I don't know about you but I am with Ava and Ava is with me we shall stand against this we shall fight against this I uh, will not be a doormat nor will Ava either be a doormat to these feminists Gynocentric twist, twits of the nowadays. I plead with you to join Ava and I as we speak out against this disease, this cancer, this toxic disgustingness, an egregious act of atrocity that is feminism and that is gynocentrism as it infects the world slowly but surely like the cancer that it is. Do you want civilization to go to hell and die out because you didn't stand up for the cause? Are you man enough to do this? Are you ladylike enough to do this? I sure hope Ava's video and, and my videos light a fire up under your fucking ass. And you join us and support Ava as much as you can. Way more than me. Support her. Because you can be rest assured that she's going to have some negative backlash, especially from the females she's exposing. 
So with all that backlash, I request that you support Ava and you give her all of the encouragement that you can. We need her and she needs us and our support and love. Now let's fight this together. So until next time, see ya.